Welcome. My name is Matt Bautel, and in this unit, we're going to learn about uh, creating apps with buttons and learn about the Model View Controller or MVC design pattern. All right, the apps that we're going to be building, uh, three of them. The first one right here is called Hello Button. It's about as simple as you can get. Uh, we're going to have one button right here uh, that when we click it, uh, it's just going to count how many times uh, it clicks. And we'll learn about basic button interactions and everything in that one. Uh, the second one's kind of cool. Uh, it is a, a functional uh, two-player tic-tac-toe game. Uh, so we can even play a game right here. So I get it up on, on my emulator. So, you know, X plays and then, I don't know, um, let's see. So O goes and then X plays again and O uh, is trying to go for the win, but X blocks O and gets, gets uh, O forked here. So, so O tries to block one of them, but can't block both. And it detects that X wins. And we, of course we can start it as a, as a new game. All right, so a fun one right there. And then our third one is also kind of neat. Uh, this is a, a one called Lights Out, uh, where you try to make all seven buttons match each other. Um, and you see it has, we can reset to, to have a new game as well. And that's one that we'll learn about later because we have a few interesting twists in store for you for that. All right, so um, good stuff coming up. All right, so our goals for the unit, what do we want to learn? Uh, first thing is that obviously we're, we're creating apps that use buttons, uh, no surprise there. Uh, second is we're going to be building UIs to specifications, right? Uh, so essentially, I give you some sort of a, of, of a picture, and you go ahead and build what, what the basic uh, layouts are going to be. Uh, and we'll learn about three different layouts uh, that, that turn out to be important, linear layout and relative layout especially, um, and then to some degree, table layout is we're going to be using on our, on our tic-tac-toe game here. We'll also learn about various resource values that we can use in our program, right? So what should we do with strings? How do we declare colors? Uh, how do we actually get the, the views that we're going to be creating uh, accessible in code? And finally, we're going to learn how Android supports the, the MVC pattern. All right, so in our first lesson, uh, we're going to learn how to create a new Android project. Uh, and basically to, to see what you get right out of the box, right, when you, when you make a new project. All right, so um, we're going to go ahead and, and do this here in a minute, just kind of lay out what, what's coming up here. Um, so I assume that you already have things installed. Um, and this is, this is our, our, our procedure then, is we go ahead and, and make a new project. Uh, and this, this tells how to do that. Um, the defaults are, are pretty good. Um, you know, usually I'd say use a descriptive app name, which is good. For exams in particular, uh, if you're taking the class for credit, I'd, I'd really like you to put your, your username uh, as part of your exam name. That'll help me to keep, them, uh, keep track of them. Uh, company domain here, again, you're going to use your name on it. That's going to make it unique uh, if you have multiple ones running or if I have multiple ones of your programs running. Uh, and it's also just good practice. Um, where you put it, it honestly doesn't matter where it goes. There's really no concept of a workspace like you, you might be familiar with uh, when you're when you're working in, a, in Eclipse. Okay. Uh, defaults are pretty good on, on the, the versions and everything. And we're going to use empty activities and, and use defaults for other things. Uh, main activity is usually pretty good. All right, so let's jump in here. So I've, I've, I've brought up an Android Studio, start a new project, and we'll follow through these things right here. So this first one is going to be called um, Hello Button. Uh, feel free to put spaces in it if you like here. When it uses it in the project location, uh, it, will, uh, it, will, it will do the right thing for you. Uh, company domain, again, like, like I already had set mine up. And we notice that if you use a particular company domain, that it's going to use that as the package name. Package names are always reverse URLs. Uh, so they're kind of nice, and they just let you specify it as a URL, and it, it'll re it'll reverse it, and it'll put in your uh, your project name as well. Go ahead and choose your project location now. And we click next, and I'm going to accept all the defaults here. I'm going to be doing all my development this this term for the phone and tablet, and and targeting for uh, for Android four. And again, we we're we're hitting. Uh, large majority of the devices here. So it says 94% are, um, of the install base are using that. So, so pretty good. Uh, what else do I have going on here? So um, for an activity, uh, generally you're going to want to start a new project with an activity. Uh, the first couple that we're going to do in the ones in this unit are just going to be empty activities. We'll learn later about the other ones. Uh, and then your activity name here. Uh, so it's, it's by default, it's going to be main activity. That's fine. Uh, generate a layout file, which we do want. 
uh, so we can specify where, where things go. Uh, and the layout name, the default is also fine. So I'm gonna click finish and this is gonna take a couple minutes to build here. So uh, let it build and I'll be back in a second. All right, uh, so mine built. So I'm gonna take a look at some of the things that I get here and probably in, in order of importance. Uh, most important of course is gonna be your, your, Java, uh, your Java folder here. All right, so I'm on that little, the, the Android uh, view, I guess. Uh, and within Java, we can we check to see that we have main activity. Uh, that's where we're going to be writing all of our code and responding to the button presses, all, all, the, all that kind of stuff, all of our logic is going to go in here. Uh, probably second most important are your resources, and you're going to be spending a lot of time in, uh, in your layout file. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, activity main. We'll see that, that, we, can, um, that we can go ahead and, and we can set, uh, we, can, we can write this right in XML. So this is a, a, an XML file. Um, and then they have a little little uh, viewer here. Um, and let's see, so I'm gonna go ahead and build, build the project. I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. Um, but we'll notice here that, that we also can, can drill down and we can change different properties of the, um, the things that we wanna set. So uh, this text view right here, this hello world that we get to start off with, um, we could go ahead and we could find text within there and we could change that to be whatever, whatever we wanted. All right, <clears throat> so those are my first couple. Uh, where else am I gonna spend time? So uh, values, so we're gonna put all of our strings inside another XML file here called strings.xml. Um, and this is gonna help us when we want to, uh, to make updates to our program, particularly if we're gonna be translating to other languages. This is very much the Android standard to use. Any, any text that shows up on the screen uh, goes here. A um, Couple more things that have to do with building. Uh, so next one is your Android manifest. So this guy right here is, is where you're gonna set permissions. So later on in the term when we're doing things with cloud storage and we need to use the internet, um, we'll go ahead and, and put an internet permission in here. You also see that your application name and uh, in particular which activities you have and which one launches when you start the program. So we see that, that main activity uh, is, is main, it's a launcher. Um, and of course that's the only one we have, but if we had several activities, um, we'd tell it which, which one is, is sort of uh, the one to start with. You see that we also have our package name in here. So when we put those settings in, this is where it ended up. Finally, uh, we have Gradle scripts. Um, so if I go down to, to build.gradle um, for my module, I can open this up and it will tell me a few different things that are important. So it'll, it'll tell me, for instance, uh, what version um, I'm, I'm targeting, right? Um, so I'm targeting a new version, but I'm allowing backwards compatibility back to some earlier ones. Uh, which one I'm gonna compile with, uh, what my build tools version are. Uh, these things change all the time. Uh, don't worry about that if, if, if you end up having to update this even several times over the course of, of your learning this term. Uh, and then down here are any dependencies that we have. So if we use any external libraries, that's where we're gonna put them. All right, so those, again, just to review those, those five files. So app permissions are in the manifest. Uh, the, the, the model and the controller Java code are gonna be inside our, um, inside the, our, our main activity and other Java files. We have view XML here. All our screen text is gonna go in, in strings and then uh, our different libraries are, are in the, the build.gradle. That's all we have for this lesson. See you next time.